All right, thank you very much. Here we go. These are uh, actual mail uh, letters uh, mailed in from uh, actual viewers, and here we go. Letter number one. Uh, is Alan Coulter the voice of the lost in space robot? God, what a great question. <laughs> Uh, this is from Dave Powell, Fort Collins, Colorado. Now, the Lost in Space, I think this was an old TV show. Sure, it was. Uh, you remember the show? I remember Lost in Space, yeah. sure. And I'm just going to guess here that Alan Coulter, uh, you're not the voice of the robot. Is that no, correct? No, Dave, that's not me. Yeah. Not me. But you know, it's interesting. I know you do a lot of uh, voiceover work. Your exactly. voice is everywhere. And uh, sometimes uh, I'll hear your voice, you know, when I'm away from, and, and I'll think, wait, wait a minute, is that... Alan, you know, have you ever had that? Recognize him, yeah. Here, watch, it happened the other day. I was someplace, I had to grab a quick bite. Thanks, Alan, but you're my party. Do you like to go shopping? I'd better get ready for my date with Ken. What do you, Paul, does this ever happen to you? And, and if so, what do you do? It just seems to be getting worse. We got, uh, like it's spring loaded. Okay. okay. I'll do it. There you go. I'm making a left turn now. Letter number two, dear Dave, uh, is that your final answer? This is from Casey Gish, Chestertown, Maryland. Well, this is pretty funny, Casey. Way to go! Uh, you're only about you're only about ten months late there with your little uh, millionaire joke. Is this your final answer? And uh, here, Casey, take a look now. This is a sneak preview of uh, Casey Gish's upcoming letters to the CBS mailbag. Watch. Dear Dave, where's the beef? <laughs> Dear Dave, I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> Dear Dave, show me the money. <laughs> Dear Dave, I just realized it's 2030 and I haven't aged or changed my clothes in 30 years. What's happening to me? Dear Dave, I now see that I am doomed to watch passively as friends and lovers grow old and die, while I remain, cursed with eternal youth, praying for the sweet release of death which never comes. P.S. What's up? Letter number three, dear Dave, why do you drive yourself uh, from home when a man of your stature, well, thank you very much, should have a limousine at his disposal at all times. Yours truly, Alan Rierick, uh, San Francisco, California. You know, uh, Alan, you touched a, a nerve here. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you something. Uh, I don't think those limousines, and maybe Paul will agree with me on this, are all they're cracked up to be when it comes to luxury. Oh, that's, oh, that's, you're so right about that. I just, you know, I've tried it a couple of times. And I don't know, I guess I'm just not a limousine kind of guy. Here, take a look. We videotaped my ride to work one day. Watch this. Do I do this now or not? That's the, uh, that's the sawmill. Sawmill Park. Yeah. Park. <laughs> that's where, that's where that is. I see. It's you gotta be careful. What do you mean? Huh? What do you mean? You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful when you're driving on the sawmill oh, so you don't... Of course, so that doesn't happen to you. <laughs> Your collar looks better. Does it? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm afraid to move because I think it's now in position and I don't, I don't want to move. I don't want to, I don't want to sprain my collar. I know. 
Uh, dear Dave, do you have any kids? Uh, Grace Wong, uh, Indonesia. Ooh. Indonesia. Yeah. Grace Wong. Uh, yeah, Grace, I do. I have kids. In, in fact, uh, earlier today, uh, everybody does it. I had to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with uh, my son. And I remember, listen, I, I remember. Ah. So. Now, you know, son, I, I know you think that it's cool uh, to drink a beer every now and then, but you, you have to consider your future. And, uh, for example, uh, the people at Harvard University, uh, do, you, do you think that they would be interested in a kid who spends all his time, uh, you know, drinking beer? No, I don't think they would. So, why don't you just give your dad a hug, huh? That's the old viewer mail. Let's close up the CBS mailbag.